It's a really important video here regarding YouTube's big change, drastic change in policy, especially if you're a YouTube creator and you're putting content out there. Now, it was so easy with the annotations. You had so much flexibility that you could put in any link you wanted for as long as you wanted. It was just too convenient, too flexible for YouTube to let that continue. You might say, why is YouTube doing this? Why is YouTube taking away your ability to add an annotation and links and so forth? Well, I thought about it. It was about their bottom line and not your bottom line. They're concerned about keeping traffic on their site. They probably realized over the years doing all this analytics of you know what was going on and how they're losing people to other sites. And they want to stop people clicking away from their sites. Is there a business decision to get rid of these annotations? They're allowed to do this because they're going to say security reasons or whatsoever. It's their platform. And unfortunately, YouTube is the biggest dog on the block, and there's not really too many other dogs that are willing to take YouTube on. This does leave YouTube an opening that if another competitor like Vimo could come in and offer people the way annotations on YouTube, a competitor could do pretty good on the market just by having that because there's a lot of YouTube creators. <laughs> They're going to lose a lot of money now. I mean, annotations is a pretty big deal for a lot of people that are, you know, selling products online or want to leave links to their website. They're going to get less, tra less traffic to the website now. Now, a lot of people prepare for this. There's a lot of people that saw this coming. They went all in with the cards and the end screens. But the, here, the problem with the cards is they only pop up for three, four, five seconds. And it's very small in the right hand corner. By the time you think about clicking on it, boom, it's gone already. And end screens, let's, <laughs> let's be real here. Not a lot of people stick around to the end of a video. YouTube knows that. They know that they can get their ad revenue by hitting people in the beginning of videos in the middle. And then toward the end, they really don't care. They do care, but this is all about their bottom line, remember. You do have some time. If you still want to add annotations to your videos, not so much time is left. Here's the reason. Oh, well, you know, cards and end screens work on mobile devices, but not annotations. Well, they did that on purpose. They, they don't want people on their mobiles clicking away from YouTube. They want to keep people on YouTube. If they want to put annotations on cell phone devices and stuff, they could. But this is simply a business decision on their part. An end screen is always going to be to another playlist. It's always going to be back to YouTube. So, I mean, they're doing this purposely to keep, you know, this traffic circling to their site. We'll continue to listen to your inputs, as always. I can tell you, like, the overwhelming majority, when you read some of these comments from, from these YouTube creators, they are pissed off. I mean, the some of the old school ones, that's all they do. They, they got annotations in all their videos. It's a shame it's going to be gone. They're saying, oh, it's decreased over 70%. So for this reason, the time has come to discontinue the annotations editor. Effective starting May 2nd, you'll no longer be able to add new or edit existing annotations, only delete them. Existing annotations will continue to show when using a desktop computer. So they are giving you some time. You have till May 2nd. So I bet you there's going to be a lot of YouTube creators right now. They're probably going to go into all their videos and uh, add annotations. And I think that's probably a good idea. If you want to track back to some sites that you want to, to get in or you want to add some links to your website or something like that, it's going to be gone. So not everybody reads the, the description. So that's what it's going to come down to. You want to leave links. They're going to be in the description. And a lot of people, they don't go to YouTube to read a description. They go to YouTube to, to watch a video. I don't expect YouTube to listens to us YouTube creators too much. Once these big corporations they make a move like this, there's no backing out. They they're all in and they're doing this for their bottom line, not your bottom line. You're gonna see the overwhelming majority of the people <laughs> they're not too happy about it. Annotations are so much more versatile than end cards. Can we keep both? End cards only work for the last twenty seconds of a video. And what if I want to link to someone to something before then or add a link or title to that video? So that's the top comment. It's got 354 likes. Totally agree. Why not keep both?
They can't keep both because, um, monkeys. <laughs> Why can't YouTube create an annotation system that work on mobile phones? Because they're, they're not going to create a system which is going to take money away from them. They don't want people to link so easily to other sites. I mean, this is another control system in the matrix. But I think cards, I mean, I've used them, but I don't think cards are very effective. Maybe there's some other people that know how to use them much better than I, but I just don't see people getting the same response rate using cards as they did with the annotations. But they, if they're going to do this, and this guy has a good point here, Michael, please keep both or at least add all the functionality of annotations to cards. They're not going to add all the functionality to annotations of cards. They, if they wanted to, they really should like limit like linking like first big portions of a video, maybe uh, cut that down to a certain point in time. But they need they should be more flexible where people want to put make the cards more functional. I think you should be able to do the cards last a little bit, a little bit longer, maybe make them a little bit bigger. This is going to be annoying. Annotations for some creators add to the video. Why? I don't see why they just keep both features. Another bad upgrade from the guys at YouTube. <laughs> like I say, it's it's bad for YouTube creators and it's good for YouTube. I agree. Can't we keep both cards and screens get in the way in my opinion? I like annotations. I don't see too many people like the overall majority here. They they don't want the annotations to go. I know it's gonna be a big blow to a lot of people. But like I said, hey, this is an opening, guys. This is an opening for somebody else like Vimo or another video platform to come in there and say, hey, look, on our platform, we're going to let you have unlimited an annotations, how YouTube did it, and you can put in your links and leave them there. You may, perhaps, you know, maybe somebody can grow out of that. We'll see. I doubt it, though. <laughs> Annotations is the way creators supplement information or correct their mistake without re-uploading. The change hence is unacceptable. With no survey and no thorough analytic, instead of making annotations work on mobile devices, you just kill it. Completely stupid. Very sad, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be mad about losing annotations. It's too flexible, guys. You have too much control, too much power. That's what it is. The cards get barely utilized. I know they do. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's why YouTube likes it. Because you know, the cards are short. Hard to see. I'm pretty sure they know that they're, they're not very responsive. It's good for them. Almost certainly not going to change anything. But we have nothing to lose by trying. I spent the past two days trying to place annotations through cards. And screens and descriptions. And thus far combined them make up only a third of what annotations can do. This wouldn't be as big of a deal if they waited until they had a mature replacement instead of forcing unfinished features on everyone. <laughs> Google, can you please sell YouTube to someone who's capable of handling it? It's a good move for them. Bad move for us. The biggest mistake ever. How am I going to be able to create interactive videos like this anymore, but I won't be able to make the buttons I create interactive anymore? You're making it worse. Every day, the YouTube team is continually killing their own site. And it's all because they make stupid decisions like this. I never like cards or end screens. Annotations have always seemed to be the best. They last longer. They look better. You can customize how they look. You can do anything with them. Cards are kind of eh. And end screens just don't work. Too short and useless. And because of this, YouTube is basically forcing many people, including me, to make 20 second outros. So basically that means they're telling us how to make videos. What happens to the content creators being able to make videos the way they want? Also, cars and end screens are mobile friendly. Annotations don't work on mobile? How about this idea? Make annotations work on mobile and be good for once. At this rate, I'm officially saying YouTube was never good. They started out okay. Almost every single update they released over the years has just ruined the site more and more. Wow. <laughs> Sounds dumb. How about fixing real issues like YouTube randomly unsubbing people? Yeah, I tried to sub and I'll check it and I'm unsub to them. And the weird errors that have been popping up while trying to upload. Prioritize, guys. Enough with the paper shuffling so the boss thinks you're doing something. Make YouTube great again. <laughs>
keep annotations they can add so much to the video people have been using them in a lot of creative ways plus some channels are entirely based on the annotation system and their content is highly entertaining if you get rid of annotations it absolutely destroys us it's end cards that suck which is why I never use them don't get rid of annotations please maybe what you can do is make them appear on mobile somehow that's all the problem for phone users and annotation fans won't get upset <laughs> they're not going back sorry Lulu they made their decision I totally agree with that I just saw them read our comments yeah, I'm pretty sure they would probably have been reading these comments there's no big deal to them I thought there's a big dog on the block who are we gonna run to huh Memo? Facebook? Of course they could add annotations to mobile phone if they wanted to. But they're not going to do that? They're trying to get rid of this beast annotation. It's taken away from their bottom line. They probably think they could save about 15% or more of their traffic by simply taking care of the annotation. Okay, but why should we have to go to all that effort when there's absolutely no cost to the annotation system? Like if it's expensive to maintain, okay, that's one thing. But if that's the case, we need to be informed of that. <laughs> Why ending this? It won't hurt to keep it. Rethink about it, please. If they feel this way, they should probably keep annotations around, but limit how much you can use the annotation. Like, like I can understand them, you know, somebody just having annotations like all over there their page and it's like there the whole time and that and that can be quite annoying just seeing that it's kind of an eyesore anyway if they were to limit the amount of annotations somebody has they can only take up so much space like there should be 75 percent of the screen there, there should be no annotation and just leave maybe 25 percent for, for stuff that they want to leave annotations and give them a limit you know if they want to put their annotation in the beginning of the video but give them limits like three minutes for all the video or something like that they went pretty harsh on this I could just see people right now they're gonna be spending like every waking hour going into all their old videos and making sure they all have annotations heck I, I think that's probably a good idea so you're probably gonna get a little bit busy if you're a YouTube creator <laughs>